Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. I'm Elizabeth, I'm a marine biologist and running alongside the Inktober inspired daily art challenges this month, I launched Rock Polaroid, a marine biology rock pool themed art challenge where every single day you draw a marine creature and if you want you can do it on a polaroid too which is what i'm doing hence the awesome i well i think awesome hashtag rock polaroid if you want to find out more about that i've released kind of an introductory video which i will link up above but in this video i'll be showing you the art that i've produced for the first week of this challenge and talking you through it Day one of the challenge was a goby species. I picked this because fish for me are very difficult. I always struggle to draw them, to get the perspective. It's just one of the harder species I think to draw or species or groups of species to draw. And uh, I wanted to challenge myself. And also gobies are extremely colorful. They can be really detailed and around the world there are great goby species. And we've had loads of people join in with this art hashtag and I've absolutely loved seeing all of the different fish species around the world on the first day and all of the different species we've seen since then. So the reason I wanted to do Polaroids is uh, it limits the size of the paintings so that I can actually try and do backgrounds too and I'm not great at background but actually this challenge is providing a really really good opportunity for me to practice and I feel like I'm learning so much already in the first week. And uh, I started off with just doing like a light layer for the background and then went on to kind of work into the fish and paint that as I usually would. I like using lots of colours, I like building up the layers, letting it dry and then I realised that the fish wasn't really standing out so decided to go back in with darker colours and kind of work into the background a bit more to make that fish pop and I think as soon as you added that darker colours in that fish really really stood out. I would also like to say that if you haven't seen my art before all of my art gets lined with black pen and so I always paint knowing that I will have a bit of black pen um, outlined with it because I just it's really difficult for me not to do it like that it's, that's just my style now and um, I, I really really love being able to uh, go at it and add all the details with a fine line pen so I think you can see immediately just having the outline on that fish makes it pop and I like the fact that that you can see the seaweed that it's seaweed in the background but it's also not too overpowering and I'm adding in things like the fish scales here and outlining a bit of texture to make it just seem a bit more 3D and this is a two spot goby so I'm colouring in um, the two spots one by the top of the fin at the front of the fish and one right in the middle at the back now I always add white pen but I feel like I overdid it here I was thinking it would be good for the fins but it just looks a bit unrealistic so I go over with a black pen again to try and you know, tone down that white but uh, not a terrible first attempt um, of this challenge. So all of the drawings in this challenge are from pictures I have taken on well, by myself when I'm rock pulling and they can all be found or will be found soon in some cases as I, as I keep updating it. Uh, on my website www.marinemumbles.com here is a website where you can do your species lists and you can kind of work your way through all the creatures you might find rock pooling and find videos and artwork and photos to help you ID it. Um, one of the this species is a stalked jellyfish for the second day prompt stalks jellyfish but unfortunately the rest of this painting didn't record so I'm just gonna pop up the final result here but if you want to see this up close watch this video now because that is it was just such a fantastic encounter finding these in the wild and I love this painting and art does so much for engaging people but in this case I think the video just does it far more justice so go check that out now this was a really exciting day because I put this in quite early on hoping to kind of share share a chitin, share the, what a chitin is and, and like I thought not a lot of people knew exactly what a chitin was and they were discovering them for the first time and that was really exciting to see online to watch everyone finding their favourite chitin species and giving them a paint and this uh, chitin I'd found recently and really really shocked me because it had these like fluffy pom-poms on the side of it and I was just so shocked that this hard shelled um, 
organism that's a bit like a snail on the inside also had these like fluffy bits on the outside and uh, it was it was just really cool and fascinating and, and so I had to paint it and this background is difficult to it was difficult to do they're they're supposed to be barnacles but I was going for a bit more of an artsy approach because I didn't want to add too much detail or too much like darkness or outline the background in black pen because I didn't want to take away from the from the actual chitin itself so I kind of used pencil to add in that texture and I think it came out okay oh I, I quite like experimenting and that was it was quite a nice experiment to try with the background especially since that's what I'm really trying to focus uh, on doing as well and I think with the black pen this chitin kind of popped out of the page and came alive and I was I was super happy with it and uh, yeah you can see the little fluffy pom-pom bits um, on the side of it which was just it was really awesome that is not out as a video yet but it will be coming out as a video soon so make sure to subscribe to keep up to date and not miss out when I, I do a rock pulling vlog where I find this awesome chitin and, and just tons of other species are coming out really soon so you really really don't want to miss out the next prompt is green seaweeds and I actually discovered that this green seaweed existed for the first time this week and couldn't wait to get home and kind of paint it for this challenge. I love this background um, and it's based on the picture. I just love that it, the picture was so blurry because the seaweed is so delicate that I just decided to paint the background, you know, as blurry as it was in the photo. And this is a really, really delicate, like it's called a bushy feather weed. And it's so delicate and intricate and it's only about five centimeters big but it has these like rigid beautiful lines which just make it stand out against all the curves on the rocky shore and i really really kind of loved just the simplicity and cuteness of this seaweed starfish and i will give you a tip here about starfish is that getting the shape right is really important it's difficult because it's a star but getting that little curve at the end of the legs and getting the thickness of the legs right is really key to making a starfish look like a starfish because i've i've painted a few and like right at the end you realize it just doesn't look quite right and you you just made the error early on so take the time to make sure you're getting the shape of the starfish right and oh, i just love painting these so much they are so bright and colorful and so intricate that this is one of my favorite things to paint and usually a starfish is um a common starfish in the uk people think it is just all orange but if you look closely there's all these purples and reds and I kind of used a bit of artistic license with this species and you'll see when I compare it to the photo later that I just kind of used the colours and, and and went with it because they're so detailed and so beautiful that I just wanted to kind of pack a, an extra punch. And I always like using a white pen to add highlights to my paintings and in this case with the white um, kind of bristles that starfish have on the end it worked super well to kind of just bring it to life and having the dark shadows under the legs just kind of made those white f bristles at the end of the starfish pop and um, I really really enjoyed painting this one. So the final species I drew this week was this little common periwinkle and I just love these. The more you get to rock pool, the more you get to know them, they are just so comical and charismatic and they always try and contort their bodies into these weird shapes and like I know that they have amazing muscles to be able to stick onto stuff which is how snails kind of move but they're also so clumsy and leave it long enough and you'll just hear this like plop around as you rock pull and there's always one of these guys like falling off because they tried to do something a bit out of their uh, actual reach and i just wanted to draw this picture that i took of a um a snail wrapped around a, a bit of seaweed feeding and uh, I'm, i can't remember if this snail itself fell off but i guarantee that it probably would have done <laughs> and uh, it was just my little tribute to these uh, really charismatic lovely creatures so that's been m my video this week please make sure to subscribe to check out i'll be also putting the time lapses up of all of the rest of my inktober drawings and follow me on social media to see these posts every single day it's at marie mumbles on twitter and instagram we'll see you next week everyone bye